Are you preparing for a TypeScript interview and want to know what to expect? In this video, we'll go over the 10 popular TypeScript interview questions that you might encounter during your job interview. Let's get started with some simple examples and gradually move on to more advanced topics. A very basic question can be, what is TypeScript and how is it different from JavaScript? TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that adds optional static typing and other features to JavaScript, and it is developed and maintained by Microsoft. It can help you detect common mistakes such as passing the wrong type of argument to a function or accessing a property that doesn't exist. TypeScript code is compiled to JavaScript and can run on any platform that supports JavaScript. What are some advantages of using TypeScript over JavaScript? The main advantage of TypeScript is that it catches type-related errors at compile time, making it easier to write and maintain large-scale applications. Static typing and other features make it easier to refactor and maintain code. TypeScript's type annotations can make code more readable and self-documented. And it has excellent tooling support, including code editors, linters like ESLint and debuggers. What are interfaces in TypeScript? Interfaces define the properties and methods that the object must have. For instance, we can have a user interface that defines the properties a user object must have, including name, age and email. And later we can use that interface in the send email function, which takes a user object as a parameter and sends an email to the user's email address. What is the difference between interface and type? Both interface and type can be used to define a custom type. However, there are some differences between the two. Interface is used to define the shape of an object or a class. It can also be used to describe a function signature or an array. On the other hand, type is a way to define a type that can be a union, intersection, tuple or primitive. It can also be used for more complex type definitions, including mapped types and conditional types. In general, interface is more suitable for describing the shape of an object or a class, while type is more versatile and can handle more complex type definitions. What are generics in TypeScript and how are they used? Generics allow functions and classes to work with a variety of types without knowing in advance what those types will be. They are used to write reusable code that can work with different types of data. For example, we can have an identity function that takes a type parameter t and returns a value of type t. The function can be called with any type of argument and TypeScript will infer the type of t based on the type of the argument. What's the difference between unknown, never and any types? Any is a type that represents any value and it can be used to opt out of type checking. Using any should be avoided whenever possible. On the other hand, unknown is a type that represents values that are unknown at compile time. This type is similar to any but is safer because you cannot perform operations on an unknown value without first checking its type. And never is a type that represents values that will never occur. This type is used in situations where a function or expression will never return, such as when it throws an error or enters an infinite loop. Another common interview question can be TypeScript's utility types. Let's start from the record type. The record creates a new type where the keys become the new type's keys and the values become the new type's values. 
For example, this creates a new type my record where the keys are A, B and C and the values are numbers. Next one is pick. The pick creates a new type by picking only certain properties to include in the new type. For example, this creates a new type my pick which includes only the A and B properties from the original object. Another utility is omit. Omit creates a new type from an object type by omitting certain properties. For example, this creates a new type my omit which includes only the A property from the original object type. And the fourth popular utility is partial. The partial type creates a new type from an object by making all properties optional. For example, this creates a new type my partial where all properties are optional, meaning they can either be defined or undefined. Another interview question is how can we add our own types for existing JavaScript module? To add your own types for an existing JS module, you can create a new TypeScript declaration file with the same name as the module but with a .d.ts extension. Let's say you wanted to add types for a module named mymodule.js. You would create a new file named mymodule.d.ts. In this file you can define interfaces, types and other declarations for this module. For instance, if you want to export the function named foo, you could define the following interface. You can then import this module in your TypeScript code as usual. And TypeScript will use the types defined in your declaration file to provide type checking. You can expect questions about abstract classes, like what is an abstract class in TypeScript and how is it different from an interface. An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated directly but can be used as a base class for other classes. The main purpose of it is to provide a common interface and implementation for a group of related classes. To define an abstract class in TypeScript, you use the abstract keyword before the class definition. And to create a class that extends the abstract class, you use the extends keyword and provide an implementation for the abstract methods. And lastly, you can have questions about how to run the TypeScript code. To run TypeScript code, you need to compile all your TypeScript files to JavaScript with the TypeScript compiler and then run generated JavaScript entry file like node app.js. Or you can use a build tool like Webpack to automate the compilation process. However, there are many IDEs such as Visual Studio Code and WebStorm that have built-in support for TypeScript, allowing you to write and run TypeScript code directly within the IDEs. I hope these tips will help you to prepare for your next TypeScript interview. Keep practicing and good luck!